Hey guys, it's Alicia from MobilityMastery.com and I'm going to walk you through how to release the fascia of the plantaris muscle, but maybe more accurately the fascia at the back of the knee towards the lateral side. And you would want to do this if you're having knee pain on that lateral side of your knee, uh, but even more importantly if you're having pain under your kneecap where it feels like the pain is actually inside the kneecap. This is a fantastic technique specifically for that pain that I've used in my private practice to get people out of pain. Now I'm not using foam rollers with my clients. I'm actually stepping on them and I would be stepping on the back of the knee here very gently, of course, and then walking them through a movement very similar to what I'm about to walk you through to release it. But historically it's helped eliminate that pain under the kneecap almost instantly when I do it with clients. So that would be one thing you could use it for and really that's the main thing. But the interesting thing about plantaris muscle is it's what points your toes. <laughs> it plantar flexes the toes. So if you're having any kind of issues where you can't dorsiflex your foot, if something is stopping you from dorsiflexing, now it could be your gastrocnemius, your Achilles fascia, your soleus, it could be a lot of things, and the plantaris muscle is pretty small. But you never know, it might actually increase your ability to dorsiflex because if your uh, plantaris muscle is too tight it's going to inhibit those front muscles that are its antagonist like the tibialis anterior which you need to contract um, in order to draw your foot up. So this is a very simple technique. You're just going to put the leg that you're working on right over the roller so it's resting on the roller under your knee. And first thing I'm gonna do is just lift up a little bit and gently roll back and forth in different ranges of motion. So if you're not finding anything, don't worry. Now, you do not want to jam anything into the roller. This is a very sensitive part of the body. So this is a very gentle technique. Now, I found my spot right here. There's a little clunk happening right here boom it's probably imperceptible to you guys but i can feel it so if you feel a little kind of smushing or clunking under there you know you've got it and this is a great place to start it's just that back and forth um, notice i'm not rocking myself back and forth i'm rotating my femur um, to do this movement so my femur is here um, just rotating back and forth I could stay here and probably get up and feel a difference in my kneecap. But if you want to take it a step further, you could do these little circles where you're trying to grab it and shear it. And I'm, it's kind of like I'm pushing my leg out away from my hip without flexing my foot. So if I do that, this is going to pull taut and I won't get that clunk. But I'm elongating that whole leg, pushing through, rotating, rotating, elongating, you get the idea. So I'm kind of drawing little circles. That's pretty good. Um, getting a clunk every time I do this right now. And then you would want to re reverse it and go the other way. So a few times each way. When you find it, you really only need to stay here for maybe 45 seconds or so. Unlike a lot of the other techniques that I teach you guys to do, we're not looking for three to four spots per muscle. This is a tiny muscle and it's really usually only going to be one spot. So when you find that one spot, just give it a really good pass through of some back and forth, a few circles one way, a few circles the other way, and then get up and walk, see how you feel, and definitely do only one side if this is the first time you're doing it, and then get up and walk and compare it to the other knee, because even if you don't have knee pain in the other one, you're probably going to feel pretty different side to side. And then of course, you'll want to even yourself out by going to the side you didn't do. So go ahead and give it a try for yourself right now and let me know exactly what happens in the comments below. If anybody out there is struggling with pain and you get a great result, make sure to share that result with other people because they're gonna be inspired by the result you got and they're gonna, you know, watch this video and then actually take action and use it because of reading your comments. So please comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and then hit the bell to get notified of new videos. They go out every single week. 
And if you want to become part of my email community, I send out new emails every Monday with tips and tools you can use to get yourself out of pain and live your best life. We'll put the link below so you can subscribe and become part of that community and as a free gift to you for doing so, I'd love to help you uh, learn one partner technique that's super powerful for head to toe pain relief and kind of balancing out your alignment uh, throughout the whole body. It's my quad and hip flexor kinetics technique and it's awesome. So I'd love for you to try that. And you'll also get my five most popular self-help technique PDF guides that will walk you step-by-step step through those five techniques. So I hope you'll become part of my email community. And as always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence. Until next time, see you guys.